Identification, this is not for broadcast. Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 12. Center for Educational Information and Communication Technology presents English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 12, produced by Marseille Asafa. Sing, everyone. Hello, how are you? I'm fine and how are you? We're learning, yes, we're learning. We're finding what we want to do. From the north, hello, to the south, hello. From the east, hello, to the west. That's good, everyone. <laughs> Jelani and Obang. Today, we'll practice rearranging jumbled words to form meaningful sentences. When I read you the jumbled words, you listen to me carefully and tell me the correct sentence out of the jumbled words. Okay. okay. Teacher, please explain the instructions to the students. Obang, let me start from you. Listen. Skirts are red, they long. They are long red skirts. Students, you also try. Skirts are red, they long. They are long red skirts. Again, students. Skirts are red, they long. They are long red skirts. Students, say, they are long red skirts. They are long red skirts. Again, students, say, they are long red skirts. They are long red skirts. Jelani, it's your turn. Listen. Shoes they of new pairs brown are. I beg your pardon? Shoes they of new pairs brown are. Um, there are new brown pairs of shoes. Students, listen. Shoes they of new pairs brown are. They are new brown pairs of shoes. Again, students, listen. Shoes they of new pairs brown are. They are new brown pairs of shoes. Students, say, they are new brown pairs of shoes. They are new brown pairs of shoes. Again, students, say, they are new brown pairs of shoes. They are new brown pairs of shoes. Students, listen. She dress is green along selling. Obang, 
She is selling a long green dress. Students say she is selling a long green dress. She is selling a long green dress. Again, students say she is selling a long green dress. She is selling a long green dress. Now, students, listen. Sweater is black, a woolen it. Jelani? It is a woolen black sweater. Again, students, listen. Sweater is black, a woolen it. It is a woolen black sweater. Students say it is a woolen black sweater. It is a woolen black sweater. Again, students say it is a woolen black sweater. It is a woolen black sweater. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, please write the set of jumbled words 1 to 4 listed under exercise 1 of page 14 on the chalkboard. Then let a pair of students come to the front at a time and have one of them say the correct sentences as the other reads the jumbled words. For example, as one of the students in the pair reads the jumbled words as Sweater is black, I wouldn't eat. The second student says, It is a woolen black sweater. And so on. Please call as many pairs of students to the front as you can. Do the activity for about two and a half minutes. You may begin. Thank you, teacher. That's very good, everyone. Now let's sing the song. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing today, today? A jacket. If you are wearing a jacket, stand up.
are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing today? Today. A shirt. If you are wearing a shirt, stand up. Thank you. Sit down. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing today? Today. A sweater. If you are wearing a sweater, stand. That's very good, everyone. <laughs> Jalani and Oban. Let's continue rearranging jumbled words to form meaningful sentences. When I read you the jumbled words, you listen to me carefully and tell me the correct sentences out of the jumbled words. Okay. Teacher, please remind the instructions to the students. Thank you, teacher. Jalani, listen. Cardigan she cotton has purple light. She has light purple cotton cardigan. Students, you also try. Listen. Cardigan she cotton has purple light. She has light purple cotton cardigan. Again, students, listen. Cardigan she cotton has purple light. She has light purple cotton cardigan. Students, say she has light purple cotton cardigan. She has light purple cotton cardigan. Again, students, say she has light purple cotton cardigan. She has light purple cotton cardigan. Obang, it's your turn. Listen. Cap, it's leather. A is pink. It is a pink leather cap. Students, listen. Cap, it's leather. A is pink. It is a pink leather cap. Students, say, it is a pink leather cap. It is a pink leather cap. Again, students, say, it is a pink leather cap. It is a pink leather cap. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, teacher, please ask boy number one to stand up. Boy number one, listen. T-shirt, short-sleeved, it is. Again, boy number one, listen. T-shirt, short-sleeved, it is. Boy number one, please respond. Say, it is a short-sleeved white T-shirt. Again, boy number one, say, it is a short-sleeved white t-shirt. Thank you, boy number one. Please sit down. That is very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, teacher. For your final activity, please let the students be in groups of four or five and have them do exercise one of page 14, questions 8 to 10, by rearranging the set of jumbled words to make appropriate sentences. Please go around the class and give assistance to those who may be needing help in one way or another. Do the activity for about five minutes. Bye for now. You've been listening to English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6. 
Unit 1, Lesson 12. Produced by Marse Asaf. Identification. This is not for broadcast. Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 13. Center for Educational Information and Communication Technology presents English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 13, produced by Marseille Asafa. Jalani and Obang. Today, we'll practice joining two sentences using AND. When I read you two simple sentences, you will tell me a compound sentence by joining the two sentences using AND. Students, you also try. Okay. Teacher, please explain instructions to the students. Obang, let me start from you. Listen. Jamila wears a black shirt. Jamila carries a red silk dress in the bag. Can you say that again? Sure. Listen. Jamila wears a black shirt. Jamila carries a red silk dress in the bag. Okay. Jamila wears a black skirt and she carries a red silk dress in the bag. Students. You also try. Jamila wears a black shirt. Jamila carries a red silk dress in the bag. Okay. Jamila wears a black shirt and she carries a red silk dress in the bag. Students, you also try. Jamila wears a black shirt. Jamila carries a red silk dress in the bag. Jamila wears a black shirt and she carries a red silk dress in the bag. Students say, Jamila wears a black shirt and she carries a red silk dress in the bag. Jamila wears a black shirt and she carries a red silk dress in the bag. Again, students say, Jamila wears a black shirt and she carries a red silk dress in the bag. Jamila wears a black shirt and she carries a red silk dress in the bag. Jalani, it's your turn. Listen. Tulu goes to school. Tulu takes fruits to the school. I beg your pardon? Tulu goes to school. Tulu takes fruits to the school. Hmm. Tulu goes to school and he takes fruit to the school. Students, listen. 
Tulu goes to school. Tulu takes fruits to the school. Tulu goes to school and he takes fruits to the school. Students say Tulu goes to school and he takes fruits to the school. Tulu goes to school and he takes fruits to the school. Again, students say Tulu goes to school and he takes fruits to the school. Tulu goes to school and he takes fruits to the school. Students, listen. John plays soccer. John leads a hockey team. Obang? John plays soccer and he leads the hockey team. Students, say, John plays soccer and he leads the hockey team. John plays soccer and he leads the hockey team. Now, students, listen. The theater group rehearsed in the morning. The theater group performed the play in the afternoon. Jelani? The theater group rehearsed in the morning and they performed the play in the afternoon. Students say the theater group rehearsed in the morning and they performed the play in the afternoon. The theater group rehearsed in the morning and they performed the play in the afternoon. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. <music> teacher, please have the students be in groups of four or five and let them construct compound sentences using and. Next, encourage each group to read its own sentences to the rest of the class. Please go around the class and assist those students that may be needing help in one way or another. Do the activity for about two and a half minutes. You may begin.
Thank you, teacher. That's very good, everyone. Now let's sing the song. That's very good, everyone. <laughs> Jelani and the bank. Let's play a word game. When I tell you sentences that describe the word, you will tell me that word. Teacher, please explain the instructions to the students. Thank you, teacher. Jelani, listen. It is a material for making traditional wear. It begins with the letter C. It has six letters. What is it? Cotton. Students, you also try. Listen. It is a material for making traditional wear. It begins with the letter C. It has six letters. What is it? Cotton. Again, students, listen. It is a material for making traditional wear. It begins with the letter C. It has six letters. What is it? Cotton. Teacher, please write the word cotton on the chalkboard. Students, say cotton. Cotton. Again, students, cotton. Obang, it's your turn. It's a word that refers to material for making warm clothes. It has four letters. It begins with the letter W. What is it? Wool. Again, students, listen. It is a word that refers to material for making warm clothes. It has four letters. It begins with the letter W. What is it? Wool. Teacher, please write the word wool on the chalkboard. Students, say wool. Wool. Again, students, wool. Students, listen. It is a word that refers to a clothing that ladies and gentlemen wear in an office. It has four letters. It begins with the letter S. What is it? Suit. Teacher, please write the word suit on the chalkboard. Students, say suit. Suit. Again, students, suit. Suit. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, teacher, for your final activity, please let the students be in groups of four or five and have them do the revision exercise D of page 16. Do the activity for about five minutes. Bye for now. You've been listening to English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 13, produced by Marseille Asafa.
Identification. This is not for broadcast. Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 9. Center for Educational Information and Communication Technology presents English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6, Unit 1, Lesson 9, produced by Marseille Asad. Hello, students. Hello, everyone. Sing, everyone. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and how are you? We're learning, yes, we're learning. We're finding what we want to do. From the north. Obang and Jelani. Today, we will practice talking about when we wear different clothes. When I call out an article of clothing, you will tell me at what weather condition we wear that clothes. Students, you also try. Okay. Teacher, please explain the instructions to the students. Bang, listen. Shorts. Shorts are worn on a hot day. Students, you also try. Shorts. Shorts are worn on a hot day. Again, students. Shorts. Shorts are worn on a hot day. Students, say, shorts are worn on a hot day. Shorts are worn on a hot day. Again, students, say, shorts are worn on a hot day. Shorts are worn on a hot day. Jalani, you also try. Listen. Cardigans. Cardigans are worn on a windy day. Students, try. Listen. Cardigans. Cardigans are worn on a windy day. Students say cardigans are worn on a windy day. Cardigans are worn on a windy day. Students, listen. Overcoat. Overcoat. An overcoat is worn on a cold day. Students say. An overcoat is worn on a cold day. An overcoat is worn on a cold day. Again, students, say, an overcoat is worn on a cold day. An overcoat is worn on a cold day. Students, listen. Boots. Boots. Boots are worn on a rainy day. Students, say, boots are worn on a rainy day. Boots are worn on a rainy day. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, 
Please let the students be in groups of four or five and have them read the poem, which is on page 11 of their textbooks. Let them identify the different functions of clauses mentioned in the poem. Do the activity for about two and a half minutes. You may begin. Thank you, teacher. That's very good, everyone. Now, let's sing the song. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing today, today? A jacket. If you are wearing a jacket, stand up. Let's sing again. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing today, today? A jacket. If you are wearing a jacket, stand up. Are you wearing? What are you wearing today, today? 
you are wearing your shirt, stand up. Thank you, sit down. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing today? Today. A sweater. If you are wearing a sweater, stand up. That's very good, everyone. <laughs> Obangan Jalani. Now we will practice what people mostly wear at different ages. Students, you also listen. Okay. Jalani. What do babies always wear? Babies always wear nappies. Students, ask Jalani. Say, what do babies always wear? Babies always wear nappies. Students, what do babies always wear? Babies always wear nappies. Again, students, what do babies always wear? Babies always wear nappies. Students, say, babies always wear nappies. Babies always wearing nappies. Obang, what do teenagers usually wear? Oh, teenagers usually wear t-shirts. Students, what do teenagers usually wear? Teenagers usually wear t-shirts. Again, students, what do teenagers usually wear? Teenagers usually wear t-shirts. Students, say, teenagers usually wear t shirt Teenagers usually wear t-shirt. Students, say, teenagers usually wear t shirt Teenagers usually wear t shirt Jalani, what do old people wear on a cold day? All people wear an overcoat on a cold day. Students, ask Jelani. Say, what do old people wear on a cold day? Old people wear an overcoat on a cold day. Students, ask Jelani. Say, what do old people wear on a cold day? All people wear an overcoat on a cold day. Again, students, ask Jelani. Say, what do old people wear on a cold day? All people wear an overcoat on a cold day. Students, what do old people wear on a cold day? All people wear an overcoat on a cold day. Again, students. What do old people wear during a cold day? Old people wear an overcoat on a cold day. Students, say, old people wear an overcoat on a cold day. Old people wear an overcoat on a cold day. Again, students, say, old people wear an overcoat on a cold day. All people wear an overcoat on a cold day. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, teacher, for your final activity, let the students be in groups of four or five and have them read the poem, which is on page 11 of their textbooks. Let them identify what different people wear at different ages. Do the activity for about five minutes. Bye for now. You've been listening to English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6. Unit 1, Lesson 9. Produced by Marseille Asaf.
Identification, this is not for broadcast. Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 1. Center for Educational Information and Communication Technology presents English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 12, produced by Marseille Hassan. Hello, students. Hello, everyone. Sing, everyone. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and how are you? We're learning, yes, we're learning. We're finding what we want to do. From the north. That's good, everyone. Jelani and Obang. Now we will practice identifying the location of physical features on a map. Students, you also try. Okay. Teacher, please make sure that you have readied the map of physical features of Ethiopia. Obang, which mountains on the map are found in the Amara Regional State? Guna, Ras Dashan, and Abuna Yosef are found in Amara Regional State. That's wonderful, Obang. Students, ask Obang. Say, which mountains on the map are found in the Amara Regional State? Guna. Ras Dashan and Abuna Yosef are found in Amara Regional State. Again, students, ask a bank. Say, which mountains on the map are found in the Amara Regional State? Guna, Ras Dashan and Abuna Yosef are found in Amara Regional State. Students, which mountains on the map are found in the Amara Regional State? Guna, Ras Dashan, and Abuna Yosef are found in Amara Regional State. Again, students, which mountains on the map are found in the Amara Regional State? Guna, Ras Dashan, and Abuna Yosef are found in Amara Regional State. Students, say, Guna, Ras Dashan, and Abuna Yosef are found in the Amara Regional State. Guna, Ras Dashan, and Abuna Yosef are found in Amara Regional State. Again, students, say Guna, Ras Dashan, and Abuna Yosef are found in Amara Regional State. Guna, Ras Dashan, and Abuna Yosef are found in Amara Regional State. Jalani, which mountains on the map are found in the Oromia Regional State? Mount Gugu and Mount Guge are found in Oromia Regional State. That's very good, Jalani. Students, ask Jalani. Say, which mountains on the map are found in the Oromia Regional State? Mount Gugu and Mount Guge are found in Oromia Regional State. Again, students, ask Jalani. Say, 
Which mountains on the map are found in Oromia Regional State? Mount Gugu and Mount Kuge are found in Oromia Regional State. Students, which mountains on the map are found in Oromia Regional State? Mount Gugu and Mount Kuge are found in Oromia Regional State. Again, students, which mountains on the map are found in Oromia Regional State? Mount Gugu and Mount Kuge are found in Oromia Regional State. Students, say Mount Gugu and Mount Kuge are found in Oromia Regional State. Mount Gugu and Mount Kuge are found in Oromia Regional State. Again, students, say Mount Gugu and Mount Kuge are found in Oromia Regional State. Mount Gugu and Mount Kuge are found in Oromia Regional State. Students, what physical features other than mountains are found on the map? Teacher, please encourage the students to respond. You have 20 seconds. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Please have the students be in groups of four or five students and let them discuss the different physical features found in their area. Please go around the class and assist those students that may be needing help one way or another. Do the activity for about two and a half minutes. You may begin. Thank you, teacher. That's very good, everyone. Now let's sing the song.
very good, everyone. Jalani and Obang. Now we'll listen to a story about Ethiopian geographical features. Listen to the story and try to answer the questions that I am going to ask you. Okay. Teacher, please explain the instructions to the students. Thank you, teacher. Now, students, listen to the story. The Ethiopian Highlanders are found in Ethiopia. They form a large mass in the northeastern part of Africa. The highlands are divided into northwestern and southeastern portion by the Great Rift Valley, which contains a number of salt lakes. The northwestern portion, which covers the Tigray and Amhara regions, include the Semi Mountains, part of which has been designed into the national park. Ras Dashin, 4,620 meter, is the highest in Ethiopia. Lake Tana also lies in the northwestern portion. The Ethiopian highlands began to form about 75 million years ago. They were eventually cut into two by the Great Rift Valley due to the tension in the Earth's crust. Because of the highlands and nearness to the equator, Ethiopia has a temperate climate. Some mountains are very cold at the peak. Ras Dashin is one of the peaks. It is the highest mountain in Ethiopia and the highest of the Semin ranges. It is found in the Gondor region. Semin region is the only place in the country that is snow covered during winter. Now, teacher, please have the students read the questions that are on page 18 of their textbooks. You have 20 seconds. That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. <music> students, what are the features found between the northwestern and southeastern highlands? Again, students, what are the features found between the northwestern and southeastern highlands? Students, in which highlands is Mount Rasdashan found? Students, in which region is the highest mountain found? Students, what other physical features do we find in the other different region on the map? Students, what special feature is found on top of Mount Rastashan? Students, what special feature is found on top of Mount Rastashan? That's very good, students. Thank you, teacher. Now, teacher. For your final activity, please read the story which is on page 14 of the teacher's guide and have the students correct their answers. Then ask each individual student a question at a time and encourage them to respond. Do the activity for about five minutes. Bye for now. You've been listening to English Interactive Radio Instruction Program for Grade 6. Unit 2, Lesson 12, produced by Marseille Asafa.